Hi guys, Dr. Ajratna here. So in this short video, okay, we are going to discuss one of the PYQs from the FMG exam. Now in FMG exam, as you can see, this visual field defect is one question that is routinely asked exam after exam. So let me explain a little bit of concept. So it's no longer a nightmare for you. It's actually pretty interesting because first of all, neuro-ophthalmology is something that you all are scared of. And on top of that, this visual field defect. Okay. So one of the questions I've taken from a previous FMG exam. So what is the question? So let's read the question. So it says the patient complains of inability to see the lateral halves of both his visual fields and they are trying to ask you what is the most likely site of lesion. So first you understand this bit of the question. So what is this bit? Where they are explaining where his visual field defect is. So when they say lateral halves of both his visual fields. So I have a right visual field that means what I'm saying is what my right eye can see that is my right visual field. So this is my medial or nasal half of my visual field and this is my temporal or lateral half. So rather than using the word temporal that we are all familiar with, they've used this word called lateral half. So that means this ICA lateral half which is my temporal half and for my left visual field again the lateral half or the temporal half. Okay, So both the lateral halves meaning both the temporal visual fields are not visible to this particular patient. Okay. So just by whatever I've explained so far, you know already what is the answer. So I've said a temporal half of both the eyes I am not able to see. So when I'm saying vision, vision means opia and they're talking about inability to see, inability to see meaning anopia. Now is it the full field or half the field? They've said half. So it's going to be a hemi anopia. Yes. Now which hemi, which half? It is a temporal half on both the eyes. So it is bi temporal hemi anopia. So even if you do not know any concept, you must have mugged up somewhere bi temporal hemi anopia is a classical visual field defect of chiasmal lesion. Yes. So we've already got our answer, which is optic chiasma. Isn't it simple? Because you know this bitemporal hemianopia is a classical visual field defect of chiasmal lesion. Yes or no? Yes. Now let's see how it is going to look like on a image or when you take a visual field printout, how is it going to look like? Now there are two circles. Now why is there two circles? because we have one right visual field and a left visual field. Okay. So now when we look at this, these two circles, which are my right and left visual fields. So for that, I'm just going to demonstrate to you. So you look at these two circles. Okay. So you look at it as if it is your own. So if you're looking at it as if it is your own, imagine. So that means this is what your left eye is seeing, isn't it? And this is what your right eye is seeing. Correct? Yes. So this is your left visual field and this is your right visual field. Yes, because normally whenever we draw something, what do we do? Now let's say I'm drawing a face. So we mark this as left and this as right normally. But only your visual field, imagine you're looking at your own visual field. So this is your left visual field. This is your right visual field. Correct. So that means we have a nose in the center between the two eyes naturally. So that means see this half where my finger is pointing is outer or this is the temporal half. This is the temporal half of my or your left visual field. And this which my little finger is pointing, this is a nasal half of your left visual field. Correct? Correct? Okay. Now coming to the right visual field. So right visual field where my pinky is pointing, this is the nasal half of your right visual field as you see it and this is a temporal half correct yes so now what we are saying we are saying that the lateral halves where my index fingers are pointing in both the visual fields the temporal halves or the lateral halves of both the visual fields are gone do you understand yes okay so now shall i depict it here now you know this is your right visual field this is your left visual field and let's divide them into nasal and temporal. So 
this is the nasal half, this is the nasal, this is the temporal, correct? Okay. So, we shade off the temporal halves to denote the temporal halves gone. So, this is the representation of bitemporal hemianopia. So, whether they give you a question in terms of description, okay, like in this question, there was no image, okay. So, there is no image, they have just explained it. So, you will have to visualize what they have explained, yes, in this, you know, lengthy question. You just have to visualize, you will get your answer. Now, supposing they have given you an image like this and they are asking you what is the most likely site of lesion. So, you know that both the lateral halves or the temporal halves are gone. So, it is a bitemporal hemianopia. So, it is going to be optic chiasma. Is that clear? Yes. So, it is a relatively straightforward question optic chiasma. Now, let us look at optic cortex sorry optic tract visual cortex and optic nerve also how is a visual field going to look like. See, when we talk about optic tract lesion. What are the structures that are present in optic tract? Now, let us say the right optic tract. Now, what is present in the right optic tract? Now, that is my chiasma and this is my optic tract, this is my optic nerve. So, let us say this is the right optic nerve. We are just continuing with that of the visual field. So, I am just putting this as the right. Okay. So, now, let us imagine these are my temporal fibers because you know the temporal fibers go uncrossed. But what happens to the nasal fibers? Nasal fibers cross over at the chiasma. So, in my optic tract, yes, in my right optic tract, I am going to have the uncrossed nasal fibers. So, that means this is the, sorry, uncrossed temporal fibers. So, these are the right temporal fibers and this is coming from the left side, yes. So, this is the left nasal, yes. So, when I am talking about lesion of this particular optic tract that is right optic tract, this is gone, this is gone, right temporal is gone and left nasal is gone, right. Now, when we draw the visual field, yes. Now, I have to represent not the fibers, but the visual field. Now, right temporal, right temporal means which fibers, right temporal fibers. But when I am talking about the visual field, see this is my right eye, my right temporal retina or the right temporal fibers, they are going to look at the nasal half of my right eye, yes. So, this is going to be right nasal visual field, correct. Okay. Now, what about left nasal? Left nasal is this one. This part of the retina looks at left temporal field, correct? So, this means left temporal visual field. So, we have got to represent this. Which one? This and this, correct? Okay. So, let us mark which is our visual field, right visual field, left visual field. So, on my right visual field, I will have to mark the nasal half, correct? Fibers may have been temporal, but fiber, uh, the visual field is nasal. Now, coming to the left side, left side is going to be temporal visual field, yes? So, this is going to be my field defect. Now, how do I name this field defect? I am going to name it as, look at it as if it is your own field, is not it on your left half? So, my, for your left visual field, it is on the left half, for the right visual field also it is on the left half. Yes, forget the temporal and nasal now. Are you seeing that for each circle, it is on the left half of the two circles? Yes, it is on the left half of the two circles. So, how am I going to name it? I am going to name it as left sided, same sided, yes. So, left homonymous hemianopia because it is half the field gone, left homonymous hemianopia. Is that clear? So, whenever you have a retrochiasmal lesion, that means beyond the chiasma, so is it posterior to the chiasma? My optic tract is posterior to the chiasma? Yes. So, you are going to have a contralateral. See, where is the lesion? Lesion is on the right side. But where is your visual field? Visual field defect is on the left side. Contralateral homonymous, some visual field defect. In this case, it is a hemianopia. Is that clear? So, 
Now I'm going to ask you a question. Now quick, what are you going to tell me? So I've got, I'm giving you a visual field defect, an image like this. Where is the site of lesion? Now the visual field defect is right homonymous hemianopia. So automatically you know whenever it is homonymous, it is a retrochiasmal lesion. So it's going to be somewhere beyond and whenever it is uh, whatever side they've given you the visual field defect, the lesion is going to be the opposite side. So the lesion is on the left side which site it's going to be left optic tract. Is that clear? Okay. So now let's also see the next option. What is the next option? Visual cortex. See visual cortex just one small difference here. You will get the same but you will see the central vision sped. See the central vision is sped. So I will not see the right halves but the peripheral vision only I will not see. Whatever is bang in the central vision I will be able to see. Yes. So we are going to have a right homonymous hemianopia with macular sparing. You see that? So whether in a verbal question you are seeing this word macular sparing or in an image based question you are seeing the central cut. Do you see the central C? Yes. So that means where is your site of lesion? Obviously, in the opposite side, left visual cortex. So, whenever the central vision is spared or you have a central C, C for C, you got cortical lesion. Is that clear? Or they can give you left occipital lobe. Makes sense? Okay. Now, if it were optic neurite uh, nerve ka pathology, it depends on the pathology itself. Okay. So, that I have explained in detail in your ophthalmology. So, that let us not do it in this short video. It will become just too much for you. So, now you know how an optic chiasmal lesion uh, visual field defect looks like. You know optic tract, you know even visual cortex. Is that clear? So, this topic guys visual field defects is a hot topic okay burning topic because year after year exam after exam it is getting repeated and not just FMG exam it gets repeated in NEET PG exam as well and also in INI CT so once you clear FMG then you're going to prepare for either of these exams so it's going to be helpful for you there and even otherwise you know it's it's a very important concept for you so that is about it I hope you enjoyed watching this and learning this it's extremely simple that's what i want to put into your brain it's extremely simple so just go through this video make those small notes and you will thank me when it comes to the exam okay thank you guys okay.